Hi guys, this is Ashwin here and this is my review of the Mid-Note Ice Cream Sandwich ROM for the Samsung Galaxy Note. So I've had this ROM for about over 36 hours now and it seems really fast and uh, it seems good for day-to-day -day use. So uh, uh, I've just gone around and I've been playing around with this so before we start let me just quickly show you. Let me go into the about, about phone options and you can see it's running Android 4.0.3 and Mid-Note 2.0. So this is the most stablest ROM that I've come across for Ice Cream Sandwich for the Galaxy Note. And uh, it does almost everything perfect. There are very few uh, force closes. And uh, so the usual suspects for force closes like say for example uh, the display settings and the brightness. This causes for, I mean, you know, toggling the brightness and going into brightness settings causes force closes in some ROMs. And none of that is present over here. Uh, the only one that comes close to is uh, when you use the phase unlock option which works at times it causes your phone to not wake like say for example you keep pressing the power button after it it doesn't open up at times when using the phase, lock, phase unlock option uh, so if you're running into issues I'd suggest disabling phase unlock uh, as far as the crashes go or the force closes go while compared to uh, say for example the next most stablest ROM that I know of is Team Rocket's Ice Cream Sandwich ROM. Uh, Team Rocket's Ice Cream Sandwich ROM, say for example, crashes around 6-7 times a day for me. And this one, possibly once or twice a day. That's it. It's very, very stable. Uh, one issue that I had with the Team Rocket ROM, the Team Rocket's ICS ROM, or any ICS ROM for, the, for that matter that I've tested out, is Bluetooth. Uh, guys, I use an, an uh, AVR, AVRCP enabled Bluetooth headset. AVRCP is audio video remote control profiles so that means you can skip tracks or you can pause and play increase volume and stuff right from your Bluetooth headset and uh, uh, and that causes issues with some of the ice cream sandwich ROMs as in it wouldn't detect properly it wouldn't uh, skip tracks properly it wouldn't pause or stuff like that and that uh, doesn't that is very reduced with this ROM and uh, as far as Wi-Fi goes, me personally, okay, let me just quickly show you. One sec. I'm going into battery. Okay, as you can see, I've had Wi-Fi on for the last 48 minutes, and uh, even even for a little while before that, before I actually switched batteries, uh, I don't have any disconnect problems with Wi-Fi. Uh, Wi-Fi seems to be very very good for me strong I don't have any signal issues but I've come across the thread and I've heard some people reporting issues with Wi-Fi but personally I've had no issues with Wi-Fi at all uh, the predictive dialing on the dialer works but at times it does run into some issues say for example uh, you call somebody and then you get back to the predictive dialer the name the name keeps showing up I don't want to actually show I mean you know use anyone's number on this so uh, I'm not going into that but uh, that is a problem but that can be solved by downloading uh, the go dialer if you want to but it's okay for me uh, it happens from time to time and I don't really notice it much now so I'm fine having it the same way uh, as far as the touch with the touch with features go everything is present and it works perfectly say for example you get the S Pen out and you know you press the button and tap twice on screen the S memo opens up and uh, that is very sensitive and precise works pretty well so uh, as you can see there is no lag and the pressure sensitivity is also there is correct so that's fine and even the other features uh, double tap to screenshot I'm sorry I'm sorry my bad cancel even the other features like tap and hold for a screenshot everything is there so the touch with features still remain still you can annotate and everything so uh, that's it for the touch with features and uh, some some of the ice cream sandwich ROMs seem to have issues with the camera not letting them take pictures at, a, at 8 megapixel again that is not present with this ROM you can take full resolution pictures at 8 megapixel it works so let me quickly snap something on So that's that's 8 megapixel and the picture okay 
so force closes like these do tend to happen from time to time but it's not that's the 8 megapixel picture and it takes it fine so that's not a problem and uh, again some people have reported issues on different ROMs even I've faced them with you know the video player again not not letting you shoot uh, 1080p once again that's not present with us as well so let me quickly shoot something so that's my dog there so uh, again the default video player works not a problem so I'm just going to the video player so uh, the video player has no issues as well uh, the normal music player works fine uh, another thing here is uh, again the ice cream sandwich features like swiping a notification to quit it I mean to clear it or you know swiping stuff to end the programs or the apps all work fine no issues. And for fans of numbers, let me quickly load up Quadrant Standard and we'll see uh, what we get for a benchmark. So while this is running guys, uh, I just want to say a few words. Uh, the developer of this ROM is MaxiSet from XDA Developers. So if any of you watching this video do actually have an XDA, XDA Forums account, Please go head on over there. I've got the link in the link in the description. Hit the thanks button. This guy has been working really hard on getting this ROM perfect, and he's actually ended up breaking his phone. I mean, you don't have to be worried about it if you're installing this ROM. Uh, there were some technical issues, and he is not even accepting donations from people to actually fix his phone. So, I just wanted to do a, do something uh, for the guy who actually got us this awesome ROM. So. If you guys could spare the time, hit the link below, uh, head on over to XDA and hit the thanks button, leave a comment to the guy, um, that's it. So benchmark results, the quadrant hits it at 3862, uh, what else? Okay, uh, one annoying feature with the ice cream sandwich ROMs these days, it's not only applicable to this ROM, but with most ice cream sandwich ROMs out, is that uh, now we're not able to toggle both the ringtone and vibration at the same time. As in, if you get a call, your phone is going to ring, but it will not vibrate while it rings. So uh, someone had a quick fix for it. There's this uh, app called Volume Ace. Uh, that's available for free on the market. You just need to get the app and set up vibration and um, ringtone at the same time and your phone will vibrate while it rings. Okay, as far as battery life goes, uh, the battery life is pretty decent with this ROM. If you're coming from another ice cream sandwich ROM like the leaked uh, Chinese version or anything else, you'll probably appreciate the difference. But if you're coming over from a uh, gingerbread ROM, like uh, say for example the Rocket ROM or Czech ROM Revo HD, uh, you're definitely going to be disappointed because this is nowhere near as good as any of those. Uh, but then again, uh, if you really want ice cream sandwich bad, uh, this is definitely usable for day-to-day -day usage. Uh, it isn't really very bad, it's okay. So that's pretty much it for this review guys. Uh, at the moment, this is the best ROM available uh, for the Galaxy Note if you want ice cream sandwich running. Yes, there are a few bugs and they are being worked out. But until the developers get a better base to work on, there will be bugs. So uh, uh, I believe this ROM is ready for day-to-day -day use. I love using it. I have uh, very few issues with it. So uh, I would strongly recommend it for anybody. The installation isn't a big problem as well. If you want to install this ROM, you can see the annotation on top You know that says click here to install. Click on it, uh, get this ROM installed. I have a tutorial for that as well. And uh, that's pretty much it for this, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave it in the comments section. If you have a technical question, you know, about installation or something, make sure you email it to me because it's easier for me to keep track of, you know, what I've been communicating with you guys. Uh, my email ID, my Facebook page, my Twitter page, all the details are in the description. Uh, so you can hit me hit me up in any of these so that's pretty much it guys once again thanks a lot for watching you guys have a great day bye bye now